welcome to the today's episode of Power Up. And holy crap, we're on our 130th episode. Holy crap. Well, for this, for, for this episode, recently I got a couple new games. And one of these games is, well, back in the day, I downloaded for the Wii, for the Wii Shop, the Virtual Console, Sin and Punishment for the, N, for the N64. It was a pretty fun game. But I thought I was pretty bad at it because, uh, because I wasn't, because I wasn't using the N64 controller. So it was, it was okay, but, but, but it was still a fun shooter. It was made by Treasure, the same people that made Gunstar Heroes and Guardian Heroes for the Genesis and Saturn, respectively. And, and also, the Wii also got an actual sequel, Sin and Punishment, Star Successor. So that was cool too. But anyway, for this today's episode, we will be doing Sin and Punishment for the N64. I was able to finally get a Japanese import copy, and I can play it on my RGB modded N64, which has been which has been given a, a mod to play American and Japanese games. So let's roll those credits and get shooting and stuff, and and let's and let's get to it. Punishment was released in Japan in 2000. It never got an American release, but thankfully it did get a release on the Wii, the, the Wii Virtual Console, which I did get. But, but, but for this review, I actually wanted to get an actual copy. So thanks to the magic of eBay, I was able to get, actually it was a lot cheaper because usually back in the day it would go for a lot more money, but now I got it for like less than $40. It's not too bad. And plus, I'm playing this through my RGB modded Nintendo 64 as well. But then it's basically a on rails shooter, and it's it, it's a really com complicated, weird story. Then again, most most games made by Treasure usually are. So it's usually some kind of inner space, outer space, something, something, something. I did I I have to know is, is, is you just shoot a lot of stuff and don't stop shooting until until the game ends. Pretty much right there, but being it made by Treasure, one of the makers of Gunstar Heroes, Guardian Heroes, among others, this is a very very fun game. Uh, you know, I, I remember playing it on the N64. On the, I mean, sorry, on the Wii to the Virtual Console, but I was too good at it because I don't know how like using the using the Wii remote mode or like the classic controller adapter for it, it was all right. But I, I, I didn't get the furthest. But now playing this on the actual hardware it's meant to be on, it, it felt very natural, and I got pretty far for a while. I thought everything was much easier to make because now that I'm playing it using the actual controller, it felt great actually. So that was pretty cool. And in this game, you have two shots to choose from: a blue homing shot that isn't as powerful, and a red shot which is really powerful. And I think I, I could combo with the red shot too. And I think when I first played it on, uh, on the Wii version, the Wii Virtual Console, I think I used the, 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 the blue shot a lot. But now that I was playing on the N64 using the actual hardware, and I found it much easier to make my shots, like, I, I just stuck with, I just, you know, you, I, I just kept, I, I had the red shot and, 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 and I ran off it. And I did very well because now I was able to make more pinpoint shots, I was able to make more, more, more aiming well. So, it was, a lot, so it, it was a lot better and a lot easier. Although for a while here I ran into a roadblock, I think I ran into a boss that I kept getting killed at or something like that. But but still, so it was still pretty cool to play. It was still pretty fun to play. And now like as, as I got further in the game, I got to know oh this is what I do, this is what I do it. So it's, it, what's interesting is you know if enemies get too close to you, if you double tap the, the shoot button, you can do like a sword swipe that'll knock them back and well, and also while doing damage, which is really really cool. So that's really neat. And, then, and, and, and there's also a dodge roll as well, as well as a double jump. 
because you you automatically move, like it automatically scrolls. And there are places where you have to jump over things if, if, if you really need to. So it's good that, that they like put that in there, it's really helpful. And I know there is a cooperative mode too, but since I was the only one playing, I didn't have anybody to, for this review, I didn't have anybody to play this with, so it was just me playing. But from what I hear in the cooperative mode, one person moves and the other person shoots. So you gotta like, so it's kinda like a little bit of, you know, communication there to see hopefully you don't die. <laughs> So yeah, but it's really it's a really fun game. I really thought it was a really well done game, and it's kind of cool. And, 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 and the weird part is, even though all the menus are in Japanese, but the text is in English, amazingly, which is kind of weird. And for an N64 game, I think this is one of the last games released for the console. The the gameplay like like the 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 the, the, the voice work like the voices were very crisp and very clear. Like in, in games past, like the, the 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 voices would sound very compressed and very like wow, it's like it doesn't sound real good. But like Treasure really knows their work because like I was playing this, and everything was very very like crisp and clear. And yeah, it's kind of weird how they how like if, if if a developer really knew how to use the hardware, like they like they did very well at it. So that was really really good. Price wise, if you do want to get this game, it is much cheaper. Cause I remember reading an article back in the day from like IGN and stuff saying how the game was well over hundred dollars to import. But now that not, but now with the passage of time, it's really much cheaper if you just get a loose copy. Like you can get it for really cheap, especially if you just get it like from Japan. And then again though, you can. But then again though, there's probably a lot of, of, of sellers here that sell at a loose cart for really cheap too. Like my, but like, like like mine was like forty or thirty dollars, and that's including shipping. Like if you really want to get one like complete box, yeah, that's still gonna be for over a hundred or so dollars. But I think there's some for a little cheaper, but the, but there's still way over a hundred bucks for the for the complete copy. But to me, I just wanted the loose copy as long as it worked. As long as it worked, I got it did what it, need, it, did what it needed to, to, to do. But yeah, I really like this game. It was very fun. And I, you know, I, you know, I, I, I and yes, and, and they did make a sequel to this game on the Wii, known as Send and Punishment Star Successor. And that will be, if, if, if I haven't done that yet, that, 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 that will be for a future review, if I haven't done that already. I, I kind of forget, but I don't think I have. So, but I think I do this one first if I haven't. So then maybe later on, you know, I'm doing a, sh you know, I'll be later on next season. We'll, we'll, we'll see if I feel like doing it. I'll, I'll see. I feel like if I, if I feel like doing the, the we successor, huh? If I want. And if you're wondering about how I was able to, how, how to manage my 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 way around the all Japanese menus, considering I don't speak a lick of Japanese. It's not bad. I think I I I was able to get. I I figure if I really need to, I can use Google Translate on my phone to, to, to translate if I need to. But I kind of knew how to. I, I kind of figured. Okay, that's this. This that. So I got so I got in, into the into the game very easily. So that was not too bad. But anyway, you know, if, if you like games like this, and and if you, if you don't want to, and granted, you can easily emulate this as well, on like an emulator. But you know. If that's where you want to go, cool. If not, then, then, this, then if you don't want to and actually want to get a physical copy, this has gotten to be a lot cheaper as well. So you, it, it, it's not going to be nearly as much as it was back in the day for a loose copy as it was as it is now. As, it, as, as I mentioned, it was, it, was, it was way under like even forty dollars nowadays. But yeah, but if you like games like this and you want another and, and you and you are and you are a fan of Treasure's work. Totally give this game a spin. Of course, I, I my recommendation scale is highly recommended, especially if you like games like this.